Hello friends and family. Hope you guys having a wonderful day. God gave me a mighty word today. I'm actually in traffic. It's a perfect time to make a video. He wanted me to share something with you. There's a lot of people struggling. There's a lot of people, this Christian thing is not working for them. I mean, they want to do right. They want to live for God. They want to be spirit filled. But it just can't seem to get right. It's that it's that it's that sin that that basically entangles you every time you want to live for God. Every time you gear up your mind to live for God, you go out and you fall flat on your face. Every time you want to live for God, you get that phone call. And next thing you know, that person comes over and you break that intimacy with God because you go ahead and do whatever you've been doing because the flesh is weak it gets so frustrating to where you lose hope you stop praying because you know what's the use of praying because I know I'm living this sinful life and you know what's the point you stop going to church because you're so strung out in the sin what's the point you know God is upset with you so what's the point I'm so tired of living like this. I'm so tired of getting beat down by life circumstances. I'm so tired of that. I'm so tired of things not working out for me. I don't think this Christian walk is for me because I, I can't get over this. Well, guys, you're not the only one struggled with that. The greatest man in the world, the greatest Christian outside of Jesus Christ, Paul struggled with it. Paul said, when I want to do right, I can't, when I want to live for God, I can't ever seem to get it right. Matter of fact, that word come out of Romans 7, 24. He said, oh, wretched man that I am, who can deliver me from that body of death? Oh, but God. Even he was beat down by that ongoing sin. I was beat down by living a life of lust, by living a life of being strung out on pornography. I was right where you are. I lived that life of wanting to please God on Sunday and go right back to that sin on Monday. All right, when I got out of church. So don't think you're alone. But the biggest threat that Christians face today, the biggest thing that Christians deal with today, the biggest thing that Christians have in their life today, they'll let the enemy lie to them. You know what the enemy tells you? Everybody got something. I mean, who are you? You're not Jesus. Everybody struggles with a sin. Everybody lives with a sin. But let me tell you something. That's a lie. Everybody don't have an ongoing sin in their life, guys. I don't have an ongoing sin in my life. Why? Because of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ came to deliver us from ongoing sin. When Christ died on the cross, he broke the law of sin in Christians lives but you got to tap into it to make it a reality what do you mean Donald I tell you what I mean when you start going after God's Word with all your heart with all your might with all your strength and you look up the whatever you are struggling with when you look it up in the Bible and you address that sin with God's Word and when you address it with the Word of God when you speak it in the word of God, when you speak that sin, whatever you're going through, whatever that struggle is, you are to go to the word of God. And whatever the word of God says, you have to agree with the word of God. In other words, you in, you in Christ has to agree on what the word is saying. And once you agree to the word of God, you call on the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit will activate the power in you. And to deliver you from that temptation. So let us let me explain what I'm talking about, guys. You're going to have to live your life in the Word. Because the, there's power in the Word. For the Word of God to activate in your life, you got to look up the subject matter of whatever you're going through in life by the Word of God. Once you activate that Word with your belief in Jesus Christ, by calling on Him, the Holy Spirit, 
Once those two meet, the Word of God and the Holy Spirit meet, it will begin to activate in your mortal bodies because there will be a different law at work. And that's the law of spirit. That's the, the spiritual law, the Holy Spirit. The same law that got Christ out the grave, that raised Jesus Christ from the dead, will raise you up out that pit you're living in, the pit of sin. So God gives us a responsibility, meaning the act of the will. He gives us the power of choice. So the choice he's giving you today, guys, choose to search his words. Choose to search his scriptures in the Bible. Choose to call on the Holy Spirit to pull you out of that sin. When you call on Christ, every time you get tempted by looking up his word, by calling on the Holy Spirit, he will get you out of that ongoing sin. Because what's going to happen when those two marry, the word of God and the Holy Spirit, once they come together, you will be delivered. But you have to live your life bowing before Christ, praising, worshiping Christ, reading your word, and going after God with all your might and with all your heart. So therefore you can break free. Don't allow the enemy to talk you into setting up a tent in that sin. You know what setting up a tent is. That, may, that means being comfortable in that tent of sin. Let me ask you a question. Will you keep a black widow spider? Black widow? Can never say that word. You know what I'm talking about. That black deadly spider. Will you keep that spider around? Will you hold it in your hand? Will you walk around with that spider? Of course you wouldn't. Why? Because eventually... That spider gonna bite you, right? And that spider bites you, it can it can kill you. Well, guys, flirting with sin and keeping around sin and pitching a tent with that sin and making that black widow spider your pet, just like sin, just like that spider, it can kill you spiritually if it haven't already, or it can physically physical physically kill you physically. It can physically kill you sin. So why would you keep it around? Don't let that sin be your pet. Did you know the devil came to, to, uh, to seek and destroy? So the devil's job is to give all Christians a spider, a spider, a deadly spider for them to make a pet with. So therefore it can bite you and kill you. Get rid of it today, guys. Call on the exterminator. You know what the exterminator is? Jesus Christ through his word and begin to develop an intimate relationship with him so therefore he can kill that black widow spider in your life God wants to deliver you he wants to take you to the promises of God God said he came to give you life and give it to you more abundantly but let me explain something to you guys God will not give you the abundant life with ongoing sin in your life it's not going to happen He's not going to make an exception for me. He did, not, he did not make an exception for Paul. It wasn't until Paul got into a serious relationship with Christ that he got delivered. It wasn't, that I, it wasn't until I got into an intimate relationship with Christ, until I started going after his word as a way of life, until I started praising and worshiping God as a way of life, that I was able to break free from pornography. And I talk about it freely, guys, because pornography has so many men in that stronghold. It's ridiculous. That's the number one thing that the devil uses for men to get them from their intimate relationship with God. And that's the lust of the flesh. So men, you can break free by building an intimate relationship with Christ. By reading his word. By falling on your face as a way of life. You can overcome that stronghold. I done it. Through the power of Jesus Christ, I'm free. And guess what? God did not take me to my supernatural blessings until I got that out of my life through the power of Jesus Christ. You can do the same. If I can kill a spider in my life, everybody that's on the sound of this video can kill your spider. The question on the floor is, what's your spider? What's your black widow? Think about it. What's that sin that you've been carrying around that you, got so, that you became so comfortable with? Get rid of it today. Look up the, look up the word of God on whatever sin that you're dealing with. But if the sin of lust, look it up. Agree, to, agree with God that that's a sin. And start meditating on that word. And you can break free from it. If it's, if it's stealing, 
if it's cursing, if it's foul language, if it's backbiting, if it's envious, whatever your spider is, God can free you today. But you gotta search his you gotta search his word. You gotta go go after him with all your heart and all your might. And guess what? You can break free today. And you can walk into the promises of God. I hope this message helped you. I hope it inspired you not to pitch a tent in your sin. So therefore you can break free and walk into your new life with him. And he can give you the promises of everything that he designed. Everything that he put you on earth to do and live, you can that, that can come free today by breaking free today. May God continue to bless you. May he keep you. And I pray that you share this message to someone on Facebook. Because guys, somebody need it. Don't keep this message to yourself. Spread it. Because the world needs to know how to break free from strongholds. Have a blessed day.